Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo Semusicus Practicus and today I'm here with a video that is a little bit different from the video I usually used to make. In this video, divided in two parts, this is the first part, I'm showing you two compositions to two part inventions written by Yahya and Fatma. Yahya and Fatma are a couple from Tunisia studying piano and violin in the United States. They sent me two of their works they wrote for their course and they asked me my opinion about these works. So I decided to make a video about them. When Yahya wrote me the first time, I was really impressed by a picture where he is wearing a hat similar to mine. So I asked him what was the origin of this red wine hat because I would have thought of everything but never wearing a Tunisian hat. I still remember the first comment I received under my first video here on YouTube, the 8th of December of the 2021. So let's listen to Yahya answer. Hello Richardis, hello to your community. My name is Yahya Mhirsi and I'm a pianist. My name is Fatma Souf and I'm a violinist. We are a married couple uh, from Tunisia studying at East Tennessee State University in the US and we are majoring in music performance. Today I would like to talk to you about this uh, red hat that I'm wearing and that looks almost exactly the same as the one uh, Richardis is wearing. So um, just to give you a little bit of background uh, about this Tunisian hat actually, its name is Shashia and um, its history goes back to um, the 17th century where uh, a lot of Shaweshi, who are the makers of uh, the Shashia, um, started to just spread over uh, Tunis, uh, the capital of Tunisia. Uh, so there is a very famous souk in Tunisia where um, I, I believe before like uh, there was over 30,000 people who made this uh, Tunisian hat and um, now I don't think they are as uh, numerous as uh, back then uh, but then anyways I got mine from the same soap where the very first <coughs> artisans uh, came and um, started to make which is called uh, soap shawashin and I would love to hear about uh, the history of yours as well so um, we're very happy to share with you our inventions that we composed for our music theory class. So Fatma's uh, invention subject goes like this. And my invention subject is the following. We actually got very good grades for uh, the inventions that we wrote but we are so looking forward to um, your feedback, Richardis. Um, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you for sharing your knowledge with us and for featuring us today on uh, your YouTube channel. So, ciao! Thank you, Yahya. My head has a really different story, totally different story. When I was deciding how to give my channel a nice cap, I found this hat which is very similar to the one in Leonardo da Vinci's Musicus or The Musician preserved in the Pinacoteca Ambrosiana in Milan and because I wanted to be like a Musicus I decided to wear the hat of the Musicus of Leonardo da Vinci's work and now Yahya and Fatima let's pass to your work in this video we analyzed the invention of Yahya okay Yahya let's start with your invention First of all, let's listen how it sounds.
In your version, there is a big number of good points, but there are other things you can improve and a few mistakes about voice leading and counterpoint. So let's start from the beginning and let's analyze every single passage of your good work. First of all, we have the subject, this one. And then we have the subject like an answer, dux and comes. So dux, the voice that starts first of all, and comes, the voice that follows the dux. And the counterpoint you wrote against the entry in the bass is... I find the natural B really harsh in counterpoint with the bass. I know that this is a passing tone, but you have this dissonance and on the next beat you have another dissonance. So, so you have a neighbor tone that is dissonance and it's correct to be dissonance. But the next note works like an appoggiatura of D because we have this harmony. But in this case, dissonance plus dissonance sounds a little bit harsh. This is not actually a real, real, real mistake, but I personally don't like this passage. You can do something else, for example, at the place of... You can continue your arpeggio figuration in this way. And it works better in my, for my ears, for my taste. Now, let's continue. We have another bar with a modulation to the fifth degree. Okay, there are two things in this bar um, you can improve. First of all, is the rhythm of figuration. You have two bars with sixteens. And in this bar, we have, we have only two sixteens. There is like a static moment that sounds not consistency with what you wrote before. Another thing is this augmented fourth and these parallel octaves that are not good in this style. If you want to do this, you have to finish on the first inversion. For example, you can finish, for example, this voice when the new subject at the fifth degree is starting in this way. Six, six, six. It is good. In this way, you can finish the voice in a in an elegant way, in a gallant way, and you can also avoid these parallel octaves that are not good. Okay, let's go on to the second part, so uh, subject at, at the fifth degree. For these two bars, I tell you the same, the first two bars. At the place of this F sharp, you can play. And one another thing you can do is inverting the two voices. So uh, you have to brought another ending of the third bar. But for example, if you finish this point, you can start the subject with a, the with a left hand in the bass. In this way. And then start with the subject in the right hand. So... It works better, because in this way you play a variant then of what you wrote at the beginning. It is the same, but at the fifth degree. Now, let's see the following segments. for how it uh, for the harmony for the underlying harmony what is not good for example is the ending of this sequence because you want to make a modulation to E flat major the A flat you add at the last time sounds too much out of the key listen to 
make a modulation to E flat major, you have to prepare the ear of the listener for playing a cadence to E flat major. You can or continue your sequence or you can use a sequence and then another sequence for arriving with more variety to the new key. Because if you use the same sequence, the problem is that it becomes boring. If you use two sequences, it is better. Our ear can listen to different sequences. So, okay, now you have made the modulation to E flat major at this point, and you have the subject. The same thing in this point. I actually don't like is the presence at the same time of the 2D flat that is the seventh of the chord, the dominant chord for making the cadence to A flat major. What you can do is in this way you have this beautiful augmented fourth. It sounds better, not harsh like an octave. Okay, let's continue. Okay, two things. The first one is... This movement of the bass is not in the style... I don't want to say in the baroque style, but I want to say in the style of your composition. Where this figuration comes from, among the other elements you have been using in this piece. So at this point you can change the bass or find a better solution and be careful because between bar 12th and 13th you play, you wrote parallel fifths. This is a mistake. In this case, if you want to arrive to this note, that is the fifth of the degree, because in this point we are in F minor. You can arrive or with a third, or with a sixth, or with an octave. But the fifth in this case is a problem, because the movement you wrote creates parallel fifth. Now, let's continue. Now, Look at the melody. This is a fourth. This fourth is a dissonance, and I don't know why you wrote this fourth. Because it is on the first beat of the second down beat. So one, two. It sounds dissonance. Okay? It sounds as a dissonance. In this point, you can find a better solution. Okay, what you are playing and what you want to do is something that is good because you want the subject in F minor. Okay, and then you want the same but in G minor, so a step higher, like a monte. But for my ear, if you use the inverted subject in this way, because this is the inverted subject. If you want to play a good monte, you have to play another time the subject inverted in G minor. So my impression is that I listen to your subject in F minor and happens something strange. I hear the chorus harmony a step higher, but my ear wants to listen the same subject, not the main that is the straight subject, but the inverted one. So you wrote this. Be careful also in this point because these are parallel octaves. Okay, be careful. And now you have again the subject in the bass. Okay, and you make a modulation to C minor for come for coming back to the main key. Okay, now we have again the subject in the bass. you play the subject in this way and this counter melody for arriving to this point okay what I don't like of this passage is first of all let's analyze the 
first beat. This could be if you play with the neighbor tone because this is a 4 6 harmony, so it is a dissonance. You can use it like a neighbor tone, a passing, a passing tone, so a neighbor dissonance, a passing dissonance. So you need to come back to this chord, not to F because you leap from dissonance and you go to a perfect consonance in direct motion this this movement is hard okay and then what I don't like is the your A flat against this F sharp this is not in baroque style if you want to play this passage you can really simple in this way and because you have F, F or F sharp and G, you can't leap from this dissonance. You have to lead this dissonance with a stepwise motion. So, but in this case, you want this figuration. So, you have two possibilities. The first one is this, the first one is this one. So, jump to another consonant then in this way and then I can use your cat so the last two bars okay because we are arriving from in the bass E B and E you can do this are all the things I think you can improve in your invention. Now, for showing you how your subject is beautiful and how you can write a really good invention, I wrote a my version for you. So let's listen now my version based on your subject and then I'll tell you how I built this invention. In writing this invention, I kept all the harmonic structure and the elements you used. And now let's listen to it. I use your same exordium, so there are not differences. What I have add is a longer and more gradual modulation to G minor at the place of something that can continue the flow of the 16th note in the bass, for example. There is not a real, real cadence 6, 8 or 3, 8 because we have this scale. So the piece is not finished but the bass now joins with the new subject at the fifth degree. Starting with the bass and not with the right hand as you did in your work for creating more variety. Then the other thing I have changed is the following sequence. Your sequence is good in the harmony but there are some elements that can be improved. For example, you wrote. Or this sounds really like a 4 sixth. I would not pass 
from this D in this way or this is different because I'm going in the same direction or even this solution but if you play go up and then go down it's like you are putting your weight on this D and it's not a, a real good note because this note as a bass is a 4 6 now another thing I you can improve in your sequence is this direct fifth they are not so good they sound harsh because they are direct not parallel but, but direct because you go to this fifth with direct motion and then you jump to a three and you start the new step of the sequence with a, a parallel third this is something that is not so strong it's better having a fourth leap if you want to give a, a sense of more strength to the to your sequence and then what i don't have in your sequence is the use of this figure that is really good for sequences for that i wrote a sequence using this figuration and using the figuration of the head of the subject in the upper voice and in the lower voice as you did. So I play another time my version of the sequence. I start the sequence here on the first inversion of the chord or on, on the three, five, six chord. Okay. Now, at this place, I would not play the F sharp because I'm going to another key. If I put the F sharp, it sounds like I want to, to remain on in G minor. And now I don't continue the same sequence, I use another pattern, in this case, parallel third. Now, this parallel third becomes parallel sixth. And going on, I add the A flat, and then I prepare a little cadence and the new subject in E flat major. This point has I explained you before. And now I use your inverted subject in this way. So F minor, first degree, C major, three six, first inversion, fifth degree of the of F minor. Now from this point, modulation to the fifth degree of C minor, so a step higher, the second degree of F minor and then I repeat again this pattern and now I finish this part with a cadence to C minor for concluding our invention okay so I play another time this monte this like monte sequence and listen to it As the final episode of our invention, I used the stretto of the subject. This way. Now in F minor, but with the, the difference that we go to the con to the conclusion. And in the bass, the figuration of the subject. For playing the cat. This way. Now I play the last part.
Before finishing this video, I really want to tell you this thing. Leafing through their Facebook page, I saw this article where they tell of a fundraiser they have opened to be able to finance their studies in the United States, given that coming from a state, Tunisia, with a different economic situation, find themselves in a difficult time. Yahya Mihirsi and Fatma Souf are a married couple from Tunisia, continuing their musical operation as graduate students at ETSU. While the pair have received scholarship to attend the university, the remainder of their expenses, the remainder of their expenses were left needing to be paid during their time in the US due to Tunisians' financial state. I will call it a financial crisis, says Mihirsi. We don't want to ask our parents to send us money anymore. Even if it's good money in Tunisia, it's not sufficient here. Added self. Mihirsi went on to explain. Actually, the average of what the person makes in Tunisia is, I think, around 700 dinars per month, which is like $200. Mihirsi and Souf have already performed over 100 concerts in Tunisia. They expressed a the passion for using their concert in Tunisia as an opportunity to mix classical music style with traditional Tunisian styles as well as sharing their culture through outfit changes and making connections from what we know in Tennessee and what is known in Tunisia. They noted how they love to hear the music, but it is also important to them to hear the performer. The couple are performing their concerts through Tunisia 88, an organization that supports young musicians with a mentoring program and creates opportunities for them to make an impact on their communities through music. Mihirsi gave a credit to his previous mentor, Dr. Park, for working with them to make this opportunity happen. All concerts are free and attendees are instead encouraged to donate to 88 International who will then be providing funding for a day for the couple's tuition. Once the 88 concerts have been completed, this couple isn't planned to stop here. They hope to continue playing more concerts in order to help other musically gifted students come abroad to continue their education. We are hoping that, and this is like a long-term goal for us, that the same project we start like helping ourselves will turn out to help other people one day, says Mihirsi. Yahya and Fatma are two very good musicians and I think they deserve all the help and support to continue their studies. On this page, link in the description, you can view the fundraising and watch their video and if you can, send your contribution to help them. Yahya and Fatma are a very 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 good pianist and violinist, so if you are looking for online piano or violin lessons, contact them from this Facebook page you find in the description of this video. This is also another way for helping them. This part of the video wasn't agreed up, but I wanted to do it like a surprise because I can't imagine what it's like not being able to continue your studies due to lack of economic funds. It's something that for an artist destroys rise from within and that's why I wanted to help them giving my little but I think so important contribution in this way. So if you can make a little donation or a big donation according to what you can do, I really encourage you to do it. Thank you Yahya for sharing with me your composition. I hope that my suggestion has been useful for you, for your work, for your studies. And in the next video we are gonna analyze the invention of your beautiful wife. If you enjoyed this video, give me your like, subscribe to this channel and if you really like my content and if you think that my work here can be useful for a lot, a lot and many 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 musicians through all the world, you can give your important and precious contribution to this work with a little monthly membership on my Patreon. In return of this, you will get the access to a lot of exclusive contents and you can join our party meetings on Discord. So, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye. If you have been watching this video up to the end, I bet you too are fascinated by the world of partimenti, improvisation and historical composition. For us musicians of the 21st century, it's important and fundamental to know these techniques and the way in which the great master of the past used them artfully to compose the extraordinary music we play today. If you master these patterns, you can better understand and interpret what you play. 
you can compose new music based on these patterns and you can improvise new music from scratch because you know the grammar of this musical language. For that I created improvisation elements, a set of several improvisation exercise videos for each of which you can download a PDF to practice whenever you want. Improvisation Elements is an ambitious project and is reserved for those who support my work on Patreon. Every week I upload new Improvisation Elements videos on different topics, sequences, scales, cadences and more. All these videos are organized at the following page. So now subscribe a membership on Patreon, choose the exercise you want to practice and become an improviser.